morning. Good morning. Cheers. I do. Good morning, everybody. Ma'am. And yes, we have the camera at a little awkward angle. It looks like we're looking up at y'all um, because today we're going to do something a little different. Yeah, today is our Saturday morning coffee chat Q&A. Since we promised a Q&A and then fell through on that promise last week, yeah, just haven't had good internet connectivity at all. And even this week where we are, it's not very good. Yeah, that's only one of the things. Um, where we came to you last week on a lake, it was so pretty, it was fracking hot. <laughs> Notice our view? Yes. We Reflectix. <laughs> We have Reflectix all around, and we ended up coming to a full hookup uh, RV park in the area because we just couldn't do it. We couldn't run the generator enough to make it cold enough in here. So we uh, packed up from the lake we were at and, on, Sunday, uh, on Sunday and came here to this park. We're going to leave tomorrow and head west on our way to our camp host gig starting August 1st. And we're going to be plopped down at another park because it's just too darn hot. It's too hot. It's <clears> temperatures are at the century mark and above yeah. all over Nevada. And you know where we would go, we would be. It would. It's just too hot. So we're staying in the areas where it's a little less expensive to yeah. stay at an RV park. Yeah. And um, as a matter of fact, it was so hot, we were overheated and Kaylee got overheated. And yeah. she actually got dehydrated and got an infection. We had to take her to the vet. Yeah. So she's been on um, antibiotics ever since Monday. And she's doing a lot she's better. Doing a lot though. better. Yeah. Uh, in fact, she's almost normal. Mm -hmm. um, so we just have to stay cooled off. <laughs> Don't we have a video of that? Yes, we okay. have some video of taking her to the vet. Yeah. That'll be up in a in a few days, something like that. We also have more video on some of the canyons that we have been staying in before the really hot, super hot weather hit us. That'll be coming up on our throw up Thursday. I don't know what we're gonna do for Tuesday. You know we missed last Tuesday. We did miss last Tuesday. We apologize, but it may be another throw up type day where we just put videos up and Here's show Tuesday's you, quick tip on a Wednesday. <laughs> and show you where we have been and things like that. But we'll have something up for Tuesday. We're, sh we're sure we will. Maybe that's where we'll throw uh, the video of Kaylee when we went to the uh, vet. Yeah, that would be a quick one too. <clears throat> so anyway, Q&A. Yeah, we figured we would just do this because the whole week we have been hibernating in our cave with the Reflectix <laughs> all around and the air conditioning on full blast. The day and night it's just been so hot um our air conditioner works good because with the reflectix oh. up um we've been staying about 75 to maybe 80 inside and it's been 100 to 105 outside so that's pretty good yeah because isn't it usually only about a 10 percent or 10, 10 degree, degree difference 10 to 15 degree difference so we've been doing pretty good so not well, bad with your heat laser gun where we have the reflectix and where we don't, it's what, like a 20 degree difference? 20, 20, 25 degree difference. We took it and checked it, you know, on the back of the reflectix, and then we took it and just put it in the window with no reflectix. It's 20, 25 degrees difference. So it's hot. And the same thing <laughs> with the, uh, the little pillow inserts that go up in the vents. Yeah. We have them that have the reflectix on one side and the other. And you did it the other day, and what was it, like 112? 120. Oh, 121. 121 degrees in the little vent. When I, you know, shoot the gun up there. Yeah, after he took the pillow out, it was like, whoa. So That's hot hitting the roof. So it makes a big difference. <clears throat> All right, on, difference. on with the Q&A. And we are going to actually start with the most recent and work our way down. So here we go. We got our laptop in front of us, so we're going to yep. be scrolling down. That's why we the right, camera angle is a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay. Alrighty. Enough playing around, woman. Chips Ahoy. Oh. I, oh, yeah, that sounds good, huh? Some ice cold milk and Chips Ahoy cookies. Dumb cookies. Oh. Alrighty, so Chips Ahoy asks or says, I hope I'm not too late to the Q&A party. I would like to hear about Kaylee's. I hope I get the spelling correct. And yes, you did. Very good. Transition to being a traveling cat because we're going through it with our two cats. Our cats seem to be unhappy with our motorhome travel plans. 
Um, Kaylee actually did well. We kind of started traveling almost right away when we after we got her. It was mm -hmm. just a few months, and we had taken her on our our shakedown trips, um, mm -hmm. and so she's done okay. The only time she doesn't do okay is Mul when multiple travel days in a row. In a row, traveling like, too quick. She doesn't mind one travel day, regardless of how long it is. But if you do two or three or even four travel days in a row, and we've kind of done that before, she gets mouthy in the truck, and she lets you know, oh, yeah. hey, where's my house? <laughs> well, even over the past couple of weeks, because we've moved like every couple of days because of one reason or another, and uh, she hasn't been too thrilled about that. No. We've been here a week. She's so liking she's that. liking that. And she's getting better, you know, from taking the medicine and plus yeah. being cooler. So anyway... Yeah answer so, that question so yeah she's, <laughs> she's actually done quite well she actually did a lot better when we had Daisy our dog yeah. um, Elaine music in this one is great including Tom singing be safe so that was in our throw up Thursday yeah um, about can oh where we stayed yeah I was singing Johnny Cash that's right <laughs> thanks <laughs> Elaine likes that <laughs> Gwen, and I'm sorry, Gwen, I'm not even going to try to butcher your name. Um, thank you for sharing another great video. I always enjoy them. By the way, what do you use to take your pics and video because they are awesome? In addition to our phones, and she has an SG5 Five. Five, Samsung, and I've got a Motorola Droid 2 Turbo. In addition to those, we don't really do a lot of video on those anymore. We did in the beginning. Now it's just kind of hit and miss with those. We use this camera. Which is a Nikon A900 that our son RJ got for us yep. for Christmas. It's a cool pix. We also have a Nikon. Another Nikon um, S7000. 7000, I think it is. And we have a Canon Vixia camcorder. Yeah. Which we usually use that for like the time lapses. Yeah. Um, it's better does better video on a tripod whereas with this camera the Nikon A900 I just use it on like a, a little tripod it's about this long and it, I use it like a monopod yeah so um, we don't have any stabilizing equipment None. nothing like that haven't invested in that yet we want to and we want to get a uh, 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 wind screen oh yeah I call them wind screens everybody else calls them dead cats right yeah I don't like I call that them term. wind screens because I've been in radio broadcasting and that's what you put on the mics is a wind screen that's what everybody calls them so I call them wind screens we don't so, have that. but thank you for the compliments but we want we want to get those those are on my wish list we definitely do not have any high-tech equipment no. by any means uh, Ed H asked, "Was that a washboard no, no, on no. washboard?" Oh, was that a <laughs> washboard? W a r s h board. That's when I could do your. You could cleaning, do my yeah. clean and wash and my yeah. clothes. On a washboard. That was at yeah. that California interpretive center. Yes, that was really really neat. Place. Yes, it was. Yep, <laughs> scenic driveways. Stage going west. It's <laughs> city boy. Frankie Lane song. <laughs> Got a lot of music involved in our videos, don't we? <laughs> Radio guy. <laughs> and thank you for enjoying our videos. Yes. We always appreciate all of your comments. Scenic too. Driveways, thanks for yes. watching. Appreciate it. And Jen McMartin <clears throat> from Dan and Jen says, Wow, this is a beautiful area. And that was um, up in, oh, where Shoshone Falls and yeah. all that was in uh, yeah. Twin Falls area. Southern Idaho. There was beautiful. We loved it up there. Loved it, loved it. And we were finally glad. We got to spend some time there after all those yeah. years of going zoom, zoom, zoom through it. Yeah. So. Uh, Kevin Holland said, and I don't understand this. I have always been intrigued with the. Biawawi. Biawawi Valley. It looks so beautiful from the rest stop there. Is there any camping south of I-80 in that valley? Where is that valley? Biawawi. Um, we did, is that someplace around Elko? I think so. I mean, I've heard Biawawi all my life. Um because of being born and raised in Reno, but we haven't explored that area. So yeah. we, we might have to do that. We do plan on doing more and more Nevada back roads, um, kind of traveling and staying in these those areas. Yeah. It's just um, it's when it's the not wrong so, time of when year. When it's not so hot. It's the wrong time of year right <laughs> now to be exploring the desert. So, um, 
So we'll get back to you on that. Chi Chi Maxwell. And by the way, I do think you spelled B O W E correctly. Yeah. Looks so relaxing. Thanks for sharing. Love your videos. That was, again, the Shoshone Falls. Shoshone. No, no, no. Shoshone Falls. No, no, no. No, no, no. That was our camp host. We were at uh, the uh, Boondockers Welcome and see all the dogs and cats. And oh, that was Elko. That was Lamoille La yeah, La La Canyon. Canyon. Yes, that, that was. That was incredible there. Beautiful, beautiful Whew. area. Wouldn't mind going back there and staying for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Daniel Grosscup says, um, oh, all the people that were going to boondock, or not boondock, but go stay in the Lions Camp in Lamoille Canyon, um, they did look like they were in a caravan. I think it was just a group of people that were um, had permission to go stay in the, it's like a Boy Scout camp and a Lions um, Club camp. And then he was talking about me helping uh, Carl fix a roof on his mm -hmm. RV, and he said that uh, I should go to certified RV tech training. That I, be... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we had considered it um, in the beginning. Early they on. had one in our area, and and now you can even do it online. Yeah. Um, it's pricey, not in our budget at the yeah. time for the time being. And, um, but it would be good to have that experience and that yeah. certification to, yeah. to be able to fix even just our own rig. Oman Opa. Hi guys. Hi. Um, the spring was cool. With the dirt coming up. Oh there. yeah. Wasn't that incredible? That was so neat to watch that. <laughs> if you didn't see it, go back, uh, what, one Thursday for our throw up mm -hmm. Thursday. And it's the one that's got uh, canyons, dogs, cats. What's that word? I don't know. It's in red. I can't see. Guests, it. I think. No. Okay, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you put. But you can watch that video, and it's got we we got pictures and video of natural springs coming up out of the ground, and in the pool of water, it was bubbling up was out of the ground. Up, you could see the sand, sand, and it was so cool. It was really cool, and it was nice and. It was nice and cool water, too. What is this? Based on the sound of your water pump, it may need to be replaced? That was when I was going, uh, uh. How yeah. are you going? Uh. <laughs> Actually, Kaylee's looking at me right now. She's sitting on my lap. She's like, what's wrong with you? It's like, you need to go to the vet. <laughs> One moment at a time. This is an older video that One Moment at a Time is commenting on. We did a uh, RV grocery. We did two versions of this. Our grocery storage, where we put everything in our pantry, both freezers, both refrigerators. And you did the first one, and then you did the second one, which was a follow-up to it. One Moment at a Time says, Holy crap! How do you stand looking at all that mess? Looking around our RV. What a great way to invite rats and bugs, etc. You are not working and it's just two grown adults, so why is your RV so dirty? Maybe laziness? Yuck! It's not dirty. It may be cluttered for some people, but for us, it's our house. And this is how we live. We work we're not, here and we live here. We're not camping and we're not glamping. We live in this thing. And that was... a different circumstance too. We were in the middle of doing a bunch of stuff. We shouldn't have done the video then because comments like this puts me... This is another reason why we didn't do any video last week. I was not in the mood. <laughs> People are unkind and it's not right when they don't have all of the facts. Very true. Very true. But our house is a little bit cluttered for some people. For us, it works. That's because we're know? working in it for one thing. and Everybody's we, different. I'm not even going to say anymore. Okay. All right. Rod B. <laughs> this is when we were on the yeah, beach. Yeah, this is when we were on the beach and we made the comment because somebody made the comment that we had a studio in a garage. That this is in our garage. This is yeah. our studio. It's like, you're always in front of closed blinds. Well, today they're open. <laughs> yep. You can see our reflex. <laughs> so Rod B had some a funny um, comment here. Where is your studio? Lights, production assistant, etc. LOL. You have a beautiful spot there, and that was when we were in front of the lake. Yes. 
So I'm back home on another planet. Ha. <laughs> uh, are we going to get a new dog? Don't know. We don't know. Um, it's still really hard. Yeah. It's still really hard. And then when I Kaylee got sick and the thoughts of losing her hit your mind, it's like, I can't deal. So. Boondocker's Welcome is really cool. Look uh, into it. Yeah. It if, really if you is. have the ability to uh, stay somewhere without being hooked up, yeah. because not all of the Boondockers Welcome have hookups for you. Yeah. It's Boondockers. And when you do run out of water, we do have wipes. I don't know what our wipes are called. Oh, yeah, not the epic wipes, but we just have like baby wipe type things that yeah. we have. And Because um, I'm such a baby. And we do have, you know, bottles of water. Yeah. Um, so we were able to make it an, another day. Oh, that was when we were at the canyon, though. That's yeah. Like something yeah. different. Um, um, we're going to make it to Colorado at some point. We were in Colorado two and a half years ago. <clears throat> two years ago, something like that. Went to see my son who lives... What part of Colorado? Out of, Rod? Out of the Denver area. He lives up by Red Rocks, actually, in Morrison, Colorado. Yeah, his and son. Does. My son, and we went up to see him. We stayed north of Denver, off of 25, just west of 25. Yeah, St. Vrain. St. Vrain State Park. It was an awesome little park. A lot of highway noise, but it was Yeah, good. right next to the highway, but it was still a cool little spot. So to answer your question, yes, I would love to come back to Colorado. Where are you Yeah. in Colorado? My uh, nephew and his family live um, in Colorado Springs. Yeah, Colorado Springs area, which I would like to go... I've never spent time there. I'd like to go to Manitou Springs in that area, back up in the hills. That's beautiful up in there. I had a, a guy I worked for in Joplin, Missouri in the 70s who was from that area. And he all, always showed us pictures, but he never took us to his house there. Okay. <clears throat> what do we got? Whoa, Nelly asks, Hi, Tom and Lori. Enjoyed your coffee chat outside. Question, when you are boondocking, do you rely solely on your solar or do you find you also have to run a generator? Well, we only, we only run the generator when it's a cloudy day or two cloudy days in a row and when we need the air conditioning. Outside of that, it's 100% solar operated. We don't need that generator at all. Yeah. It's just a true backup. Um, and um, the two the two really hot days that we had at the lake where it was extremely hot, we did run the generator for like a few hours. Yeah. But it just couldn't, we couldn't sustain that to keep it cool enough in here. We all got just overheated. You know, Tom and I can go sit in the lake, but Kaylee couldn't. Yeah. And that was our big concern was keeping her cool enough because you could tell she was hot. Yeah. So. Yeah, baby dinosaurs on the lake. Donald the Tingle commented on the, the lizards. Yeah. And how he called them baby dinosaurs, and that's what they call them, too. Yeah. So, um, the ones at the lake were this big. <laughs> Kaylee, I, I don't know if she's watched the, uh, the lizards, but she definitely likes to watch the birds. She loves watching birdies out the back window, and she watches out the front door sometimes, mainly out this window, because this, can you see this perch? We give her a perch here. When the reflectix isn't up, she can watch. We also have a chair in the corner over here yeah. and a chair at the table there. And we have low windows. I mean, they go like floor to ceiling windows. And so she likes to uh, lay on those and watch out the windows too. Yep. Uh, oh, you be, speaking of, uh, Donald was talking about his cat bringing him presents. And we had a cat, she used to bite the heads off. Lizards, frogs, Mia. Ma mice, yeah, our cat Mia. She used to like to bring us beheaded presents. Dusty Roosters, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Those kind of comments make us feel good. That one, like the other one, not so much. Why? Do, I, I don't know why people have to be mean. And JT and Joanne, again, Scenic Driveways, they're just, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Talking about the baby dinosaurs. And Lori called you old. Yeah, well, she calls me old all the time. He's my old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, Oops. Where, oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Hemingway, do we, 
Oh yeah, we got oh, that one up late last yeah, week. Yeah, we did. We That's were having like, troubles with the internet, so. Today it's going to be a, a a chore getting this one uploaded here in a little bit too. Yeah, he might have to drive across the road. Um, Perfect spot. Won't bite you much. The baby dinosaur won't bite you much, yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot for that. <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> Lisa S. Talk about your camp hosting gig or a week of what you had to eat. Um, our camp hosting gig coming up in August is at a Corps of Engineers park. Um, in the Truckee, California area. It's yeah. just a small park with only 25 sites. Uh, no hookups at all. You all can dry. get fresh water. And that's it. There's no dump station there or anything. Um, there are dump stations in the area, I guess. And that there are use. two rangers on duty at all time. I think there's only one on and one off each time. But if we have any issues with any campers, all we do is make a note of it, take it, and you know fill out the form and put it on their desk inside their little office there, and they go and handle it. We don't have to be the bad guys, the cops. Yay. We don't have to enforce rules. We let the campers know of the rules, but we don't enforce them this year. Last year we had to do that at the county park we were at, and that was not fun because we were the bad guys. Yeah. So this year it's going to be totally different. I know it is. Yeah. So, and then Lisa... I don't, I, oh, wait a minute. No. I don't know how many hours we're working. Supposedly it's only an hour or two in the morning, an hour or two in the afternoon, and you clean the bathrooms, you spray them down with disinfectant, infected, say that word. Disinfectant. Thank you. And then you hose them down, and, and that's then, it. And then you kind of wipe things down, too, yeah. the, the sinks and the mirrors yeah. and uh, the toilet seats and stuff, but... Once we Not get there, deal. we'll have some videos of what we're doing day by day, too, and we'll post those up. And uh, Lisa was asking for, she's asked before for some, like, cooking videos, what we had to eat. If anybody else, if you're interested in that, then maybe we'll do one of those every now and then. We have had a few requests, and I'm still a little hesitant about We just eat normal that. food. We don't eat yeah, it's not camp. <laughs> food hot That's dogs and we don't cook kind of, outside over a fire we use I, the stove and the oven yeah I do not have an instant pot no nope. I don't use anything like that um, just pretty much so we don't have a grill anymore we need to get one yeah we haven't been even able to grill lately so everything's been on yeah. on the stove or in the oven um, I don't even use the microwave anymore but you know pretty normal so, food yep but we'll do some videos yeah we will and then we'll see what the response is um, yes, Daniel, we were happy we did not make, we made it through the ho July 4th holiday without yeah. any burns to See, our trailer. He says that the, the area inside looks nice and comfy, right? Isn't he talking about this? No, the area you were in looks nice and comfy. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Our home is nice and comfy. Yeah. So. I mean, some of our friends have come inside and they're shocked. They walk in and they're shocked because they're like, they turn around and look at us and they go, oh my gosh, it looks so homey. Mm -hmm. Difference between homey and clutter. Eh? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, and when you, uh, you said something about, um, I've heard to take enough bedding and clothing for three to four weeks so you can get to a laundromat, what do you think or do? We actually do, I, sometimes I wait about four weeks yeah. to, to do laundry and that's because we have enough clothes we have a nice big closet so we're able to have that and um, we have a hamper right in the corner and you know what when you're boondocking if you don't get sweaty every day you kind of wear the same clothes yeah every day maybe not the same next day in a row you might you know I might rotate between three or four shirts over a week or so and every other day go back to the same shirt. Yeah, you we're know, not seeing anybody, so. You pick it up, sniff it. If it doesn't stink, I put it on. What? Hey, it's real life. It's me. It's us. <laughs> Tina. Woo. Tina said, I love my Mac. This is uh, regarding the grocery storage um, video also. She says she loves her vacuum sealer. I used to have one. I loaned it to someone and never got it back. Um, that would It would be good to have another one of those again. Um, so I guess you could say that they sealed it. What? They like stole... Ste sealed it? They uh, sealed it. Forget it. It didn't work. Okay. 
never does. Yes, things things are airtight and it helps keep critters out because they can't smell anything and no freeze or burn. Very true, very true. Oh, the turtle. I had taken video, um, let's see here, Glenn, no, yeah. yeah, Glenn Baston said that the turtle was camera shy and that was in regards to our video that I took of um, at the fish hatchery. Um, I had taken some video of a sturgeon there and then there was this little turtle out sunning himself and when I did video he kind of went like this with his foot <laughs> over his face. It looked like he was being shy. And Debbie Pickett liked the waterfalls in that same video. Hi Debbie. Hi, Debbie. We had a great 4th of July, Rick and Mona Vance. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, say it. <clears throat> he had to go watch the Giants and Cardinals game. Hey, that was a good series. We couldn't watch it, though, because we're in yeah. Giants territory. We're in the we're Giants hundreds territory. Hundreds of miles away from San we're Francisco. We're in the umbrella of the San Francisco Giants television area in the middle of the desert in central Nevada. Yeah. And yet we can't can't watch the game. Oops. <laughs> Our camera shut off. I must have it on a uh, like a half hour time limit or something. I don't know why. Why it even has that. Why doesn't it just keep going? So anyway, we we're talking about the Giants Cardinals game and how we were we weren't able to see the whole Giants Cardinals series yeah. because we're in Nevada. Yeah. And you know, we're a long ways away from San Francisco. It's not right. Uh, Shoshone Falls, yes, very beautiful. Add it to your bucket list. Yeah, we didn't even know this, but it's the, it's deeper, deeper than Niagara Falls. Yeah. Not as wide. Not as wide as Niagara Falls, but the height, it's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. You need to go check it out. Yeah, it was really cool. Deborah, I know you guys are in southern Idaho. The bullfrogs are loud. Yes, they are there. Did they get the wagon out in front? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to check with them and find out where they got their wagon. Oh, where did they get it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. The hills are beautiful. And northern Idaho is yeah. pretty as well. I want to take her up to Coeur d'Alene. Yeah. She'd never been up there. Yeah, we, we just fell in love with the Twin Falls area. Oh, actually the Boise area too. Yeah. That whole area. Yep. <clears throat> Idaho is beautiful. Yeah. Saving your journeys. Uh, Isn't sagebrush tumbleweed when it dies? <gasps> Isn't it? No. Oh. No. I thought it was. No, the sagebrush doesn't tumble. Man, you can't get those things out of the ground. Tumbleweeds are like these little stickery weeds. Okay. Yep. Um, They're all weeds. Teresa M. <sighs> Great place to unwind and read a book. Yep, that was up by the falls. Um, leaving Saturday in your fifth wheel for some time, but waiting for retirement. It won't be long. Daniel McConnell. Teresa, did you have a fun time? Oops. Did you guys have a good a good trip? Hope so. Daniel McConnell just kind of liked the throw up Thursday video with the falls and everything. So good camera stuff. Pepper, Thank you. Pepperman uh, says beautiful country. Richard Beachy said, uh, very nice video, keep it up. Someday we'll be visiting some of the same places. And you know, that's one of the reasons we got the channel, is just to share our life on the road. And you know, you may see some place that you want to go and make a note of it. Yep, and it's and it's kind of a, a journal for our purposes too, yeah. to go back and look at all this. Because we can't really store everything on the computer because it yeah. gets clogged up. And yes, um, Betty. Betty Stinger said that um, the waterfalls and everything that we visited in that video was beautiful, and yes, it was. Um, and Elaine says that the uh, waterfalls are mesmerizing, and they absolutely are. You can just stand there and just stare, watch them, and the spray and the rainbows and all that is just beautiful. I'm having to plug in my computer. Uh -oh. We're running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> So, Light Living, Preston and Nancy, happy 4th, happy 4th back to you. Um, <laughs> it's a holiday, take a holiday from giving tips. Thank you. We took a holiday. Yes, we did. Uh, Layla O'Brien, on the grocery video that we did, she's commenting about, uh, she uses plastic coffee cans 
as containers for her powdered creamer and pastas and rice and bread and oatmeal and cereals and sugar yep. and salt and all that stuff like that because yep. we were showing in that video mm -hmm. those containers that we had. Yeah, she uh, she takes everything out of the cardboard that yep. comes packaged that way. Yep. Yep. She says so. that she'd definitely swipe out her system for hours though. <laughs> It's uh, Layla. Thank you for it, watching. Thank you, and thank you for your kind comments. Um, it does help to have all uniform containers when you have such a small space to store things. And make sure that if you guys, uh, some of you that we've talked about and shouted out to you, if you're not subscribers, please click that subscribe button because we want to get our subscriber count up. We just appreciate you watching too, yes, though. Thank you, Roy Davis. Leaping lizards. Tom's afraid of them. Damn straight afraid of lizards and snakes and spiders and he will call me ah there's a spider in here I don't like spiders and snakes remember that, that song this pen? Jim Stafford 1974 yeah <laughs> Kevin Allen quick tips has gone no quick tips aren't gone we're we're taking up something else pregnant pause with <laughs> quick tips <laughs> See, your blinds closed. Is that it? Are we caught up? No. Oh. No, we're not. Okay. See, this is where we mentioned the blinds oh. closed. Kevin. Kevin. Blinds are open. Yeah, there you go. Well. It's reflectix, but the blinds are open. <laughs> And the reason why we have to have the blinds closed is because there's usually too much light behind us and it drowns it, it drowns us out. You yeah. can hear us talking, but it's you a can very see bright us. white light behind us. Yeah. If we do have them open. So maybe we can. And the reason we haven't been doing them outside, and we did that last one outside, the wind. Every place we've been, it's been windy. Yeah. And again, we don't have a wind uh, sock. Every we don't wind. have yeah. mic muffs, so. And Daniel Gross Club talked about cleaning out the strainer in the pump, and yeah, we it was clean, yeah. but when he took it off and put it back on, it was like it released an air pressure or something, for some so that reason, helped. For some reason, the pump yeah. started working again. And, you know, I got to thinking about that the other day. One other time, our water pump stopped very early on, and all I did was go in there and go uh, 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 on it, and it started oh, working. Oh, that's right. So, first things first. Beat it up. We also, <laughs> See if it'll start working. And we also plan we are, we are finally somewhere where we can receive packages as we're ordering another yeah. one just to have on hand because if we're out somewhere we can't be without water yeah. so we can fix it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Loving, he wants to know uh, how to apply duct tape to Tom's mouth. Yeah, he says that'd be a quick tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, free at last. They were upset that they didn't get a Tuesday's quick tip. Uh, we're sorry. Another one. Yes. Oh, no Tuesday quick tip, Rod B. Oh, the whores. <laughs> and he doesn't like lizards either. Well, they're okay, but... Uh, That's back when it was her birthday. Oh, yep. I think we're caught up. I think we pretty much are... I think so. Um, let's see here. Okay. I yeah. Have to say we're done. Pretty much. So, if uh, hopefully we answered your questions. If we didn't, we apologize. We may have missed it in the mix. Um, if you want to ask it again, yeah, ask it again. Say this in, is my second time, or this is my third time asking you this. Would you please answer my question in the comments below on this one? And remember that Amazon Prime Day starts Monday, July sixteenth. Use the link below. We Please. would much appreciate you Please. if you would click through our Amazon link to do your shopping. It doesn't cost any more for you to do it, and we get kind of like a little bitty... Kind of like a tip that tip. doesn't cost you anything. It's like a commission yeah. that Amazon gives us for referring you to shop yeah. through Amazon. Yeah, but we'll put that below too, so thank you for using that. And remember to subscribe, click the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when we do post new videos, click the bell, only click it once. Once you have clicked, once you have subscribed, you are in to win. We giving something away? We still owe 
uh, I think it's Deborah, whoever won the, I have to go back and look, the Thursday, throw up oh. Thursday. I still owe her something. Well, get off your duff and get it to her. <laughs> I know. I need, I'm pretty sure it was Deborah that won. Um, we will d look back. Deborah, you would probably know if it was you or not. Um, and private message us. Uh, can they do that anymore on they, YouTube? You, can, you can't or do Facebook. that on YouTube. You have not to go anymore. to Facebook. You can message us or you can send us an email to info at Tom and Lori RV Life dot com. Yep. And that email address is in the description below, right? It's in, in the description it, here on okay. YouTube. It's also on our web page. Okay. Send us a message, please. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? I don't think so. We need to get this video up because it's going to take a it's long It's going to take a few hours to get this uploaded today, so hopefully it'll be up there by the time you have your afternoon tea. <laughs> I've been working and it took over an hour to download the file. <clears throat> yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. Anyway. Have a great day, you guys. See ya. See ya. <laughs> and we're going to call it <clears throat> Saturday Coffee Chat Q&A. Okay. Yep. Baby. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here, baby girl. Come here, baby girl. Hey, you're not in. You're going to have to lean way in. Why? That's because we've got it close up. Okay. That's why. All right. Okay, right here. Get your coffee.